<laughs> what is the world coming to? It's going great places. It's, it's going somewhere, yep. and it's probably underwater. What if they gave the ninja who attacks the military base a <laughs> range <laughs> filled with semen? Ah, uh, yes, the only thing that can counter a ninja. Oh, yeah, even better. That's what the, um... Uh, the sergeant should have used to protect himself. <laughs> That's every ninja's weakness. See? <laughs> uh. Yeah, so those are my stories that I brought. <laughs> what you bring to the table? Um... Oh, that's yes. Let's see. I have no clue. Anything that's going on recently. And I don't do anything, I just work. Understandable. Oh, look, coughing. <laughs> get it? What? Did, did oh, did just you just, like, it cough into the mic? Yeah, I know OBS picked it up, so... I just heard, it. like, the slightest thing. I didn't even know what it was. I thought it was you gagging. No. 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 Are you sure? No. No. It wasn't that. Wait, you're not gagging on, uh, big, throbbing... I just realized I'm finding a fire type right now. What am I doing? Your best. Which is not very good. So. Alright, Sly, you're up. Huh. Oh shoot, this thing is levitate. What well, weird. Obviously, didn't bring any topics. Uh, I'll be honest. No, sadly. What I about... didn't do my homework. You have a topic. I already got spoiled on it, but viewers, they might not be informed about what we talked about in the car over the weekend. About uh, the fucking Mormons and what they get up to. Ah, uh, yes. What's the deal with Mormons? <laughs> I think it was Mormons. I, I remember reading something, right? And so Mormons are supposed to practice abstinence, right? For those of you at home who don't know that word, that means not doing the sex, right? I'm and so apparently some Mormons went like, hey, it's not technically sex if there's no motion. And so they created a thing called soaking. Right, it is when you insert the penile into the vagina and just let it sit there. Don't no 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 movement there. So that's technically not sex, right? And they didn't stop there. They decided to create what is called jump pumping, and that's when they what's do the act of soaking. Yeah, what's well, jump pumping? And that's when they. Uh, do the act of soaking and then have a third person jump on the bed. And so technically they're not causing any motion, so it's not sex. So yeah, that, that's that's my story. If you look into it and it's wrong, just uh ignore no, it. No, we're not fact checking here. <laughs> Everything that we no say here checks. is true. Yeah, and you should take all our financial advice. Yes, and, invest uh, all of our advice. We are financial advisors. Invest in Dogecoin. <laughs> Evan, how's that going? Oh, do a live check. Let's find out. <laughs> I've just been sitting at this move set. I don't think I've even checked since last time I brought it up as a meme. It's bad. Let's see. 
All right, so last time I checked, we were at 71. Now we are back down to 41. Oh, half. That's cool. Uh, One of these days, to the moon, baby. We'll get there. To the moon. Elon Musk, why couldn't you have just been funny on Saturday Night Live? That ass, <laughs> oh, man. That man really just went on Saturday Night Live in oh, a Wario yeah. costume and plummeted Dogecoin. After that damn ever. <laughs> uh, uh, fucking cryptocurrency. Look at Dogecoin. <laughs> Ricky, what did you ever do to your Dogecoin stocks? Because oh, you got I into it of... way before the meme. Yeah, and I got money. But, uh... No, I only made like a hundred bucks. And I saw the hundred and went, Okay, I'm getting out before this thing crashes. Yeah. And then it didn't crash for like another day, and then... I felt sad, and then it went really low, and I'm like, Ah, I won. And then I heard somebody here didn't do what I did. I wonder who that could be. Probably Beetle. <sighs> Fucking yeah. Uh, Good to hear it's going well, Evan. Your your adventures are going great. Going so well. Hey, look, there's Jaskas. Hey, Jaskas. That's actually the form you never got to be. Uh, wait. Take down. Okay, nope. Go on take down. <sighs> oh wait. You're crow. You know the best thing about uh Gang Machoke or whatever. Is it Machoke? Yep. I have something to counter Steel type now. Oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah. yeah. Alright. What's going on over there? Wait, over here? I was, uh... Oh, you're doing fine. I was pulling something up on my phone. New topic. Ah. Uh, stumbled upon a uh, website. I know of it, called a... Racial Slur Database. Oh, no. <laughs> I want to see... Alright. So you're walking down the road. And I'm walking down the uh -huh. road. And... We're walking past each other, and we kind of, like, bump shoulders by accident, right? You know, it happens yep. when two people walk down the street. Not a big deal, but I look down, and I see that the semen syringe that you had in your pocket pokes through and stabbed my leg. And so now I get pissed, I turn around, and I say, Hey, border bandit. How do you respond? Um... The only correct response is to attack a cop, right? Die and become a martyr for a uh, movement. Okay, getting silly on me. I, I'm, I'm no, looking for so, a legitimate answer here. Like, legit response. What, what does it take to get you to to <laughs> to tick? Uh, so border bandit. Yeah. Realistically, I'd just be confused and then uh, just think that's the best people can come up with and get offended by. All right, but, but remember, it's all it's also me saying it. So, like, if you wanted to, you know you can beat me up. So if you, you got mad enough to fight me for calling you a... Uh, yeah, here. They suck. Why do um, I feel like none of these slurs are actually good? Potato? What does that have to do with Mexican? A uh, sexy. The only Mexican one. The only Mexican one I know um, is Spick. Spick. Yeah. 
Max, max, that's not that good. Ah, fuck. These are all, like, supposed to be mixed. Uh, is there one for a uh, Mexican-Japanese mix? Uh, Besides the one that we uh, already... Rice and beans. Rice and beans. It's good, but... Mm. Alright, let's go for the other side. Let's go... <laughs> Japanese. I mean, this Jap. Zipperhead. I haven't heard that one before. So, if, if I... If you stuck me with your semen syringe and I turn around and call you a zipper head, how do you respond? Yeah, again, just mostly confusion. Okay, but then after I call you a zipper head, I say, and by the way, this was a derogatory term used against the Asians in uh, uh, determined camps or whatever they were. When uh, people would like run over their heads with jeeps, and then they would like zippers. And I, I say all that to you in a matter of like two seconds. Now you've got like that instant fight or flight reaction. What are you doing? I probably just say like, "What the fuck, man!" I, the, it's not to me. It takes a lot to get under my skin. It doesn't really matter to me. I make fun of my own race enough already. A little more is no nothing. Oh, that's a why not. <laughs> Warrior. <laughs> what? All right, all right, so. But this time I'm calling you a Bukaki Warrior. How do you respond? Uh, how do you know that? <laughs> uh, all right, I'm done with this for now. Yeah, that. Th those aren't that interesting, I'll be honest. Bukaki Warrior was funny. It just kind of caught me off guard. Alright, so what are we doing against this, uh, this why not here? Death? I mean, the odds I can do it in with payback. I think it's my only Hopefully. option right good. now. Yeah, easy. Yeah, you're good. It's so Do we fight everyone in here? I don't know if you have to fight everyone. Or, yeah, that's not a fight. Let's see what you mean now. Build the room. Oh, a Ralts. Ralts is sick. Oh, this you know what Ralts becomes in? I do know what Ralts becomes. Thank you for, uh... Thank you for asking. You know what Ralts yeah. becomes. Yeah? I don't know the mid-evolution. Glade. Is there mid-evolution? Yep. Glade? Uh, no, Corellia. And then Glade is the alternate form. So yeah, that's what you're talking about, right, Glade? Yeah. Yeah, Glade's pretty cool. Pretty chill, dude. Yeah. Uh, uh can you guys heal me? This? Oh wait, what? Meow, help me. Oh, I thought it said meow saying. Uh, me. Oh, we. Oh. That's a lot of Pokemon. Huh? Right. One living doubt you got this. Take them all on. Trying to level them up? Payback. Yeah. So close to leveling up. You can do it. Easy. Hey, there we go. 37. Go to dial. Aww. Look at that little total dial. It's perfect way for Chururu. Get in there. Yeah. 
Beavis. So how are you feeling about Jerem? I like Jerem. I like Churu. How are you feeling about uh, Win with three ends? Win's actually not terrible. I wish I had a good stab move. But uh, stab moves are always nice. Yeah. I don't know if this is going to be anything important, so I'm just probably going to go. Oh. Leaf. Wait, let's oh. see. I can't afford to lose any more pairs. <laughs> so I think at this point we're down to every pair from this point on we can replace. Besides, um, uh, not the most recent. Yeah, I just remember it. We got a new pair. Yeah. Uh, so that's probably going to be the next one we lose. How many until we start losing legendaries? <laughs> I think as soon as we get a legendary on our team. Yeah, probably. We have three the boxes. We just can't use them. We have three? Yeah, I have Latios and. Oh, that's right. Deoxys. And uh, throw it on. Then you have Palkia. Gotta love Palkia. That what is... are the strongest legendaries? What is that? What are the strongest legendaries? Mewtwo. Mewtwo is the highest uh, stats wise. Mm. I don't know if he's like the best, as in. Like move set stats, like everything combined. But I know he's not guy stats. I know very little about um, competitive Pokemon. I think that's probably most people. Um, yeah. But I know in like top tier games, they use. I see a lot of Palkias and uh, Kyogres. I feel in the little bit that I've seen. Maybe. I don't really know anything about competitive Pokemon either. Yeah. I just watched like maybe like 10 videos on it because I was curious about different things. It seems really interesting. I'm just, it seems really complicated too. And you know what? I'm not gonna keep living down here. On further inspection, switch out. Conchcrow is a design. Yeah, Conchcrow is pretty cool. It's thick. Yeah, I'll just take some Mooma Milk. Take some Mooma Milk and shove. Oh, yeah. I don't remember. Oh, uh... Fuck, that did a lot of damage. Okay. Oh, God. Fly. <laughs> I don't remember what your opinion on this was or your statements. How do you feel about the whole. Portion? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what were you saying? Anyways, how do you feel about the whole um, people selling Oreos for oh. a large sum of money? Right. I don't think we like really talked about it, but we did. Men you guys mentioned it earlier <laughs> with Ian. And yeah, fuck, it's stupid. <laughs> it, I for the oh, explain yeah. it. You know more about it than me. So. For those of you who uh, are uninformed or in the future watching this and don't know when this took place. I checked the time it was uploaded or the date it was uploaded. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um, so Pokemon and Oreos got together and started selling Oreos with different Pokemon designs on them. Pretty cool. I think there's like 16 designs. That's pretty neat. You know, yeah. novelty. And... One of the designs on the Oreos was a Mew. You know, oh, you know, one of their cuter legendaries. A lot of people like Mew. A lot of people know Mew, right? I like Mew. Yeah. Well, people ended up 
taking these Mew Oreos and uh, deciding, hey, they're worth thousands of dollars. <laughs> For and, no reason. Yeah. Yeah, no reason at all. Like, maybe they're a little more rare, but... I don't yeah. even think they are. I think everything is the same. Yeah. So, people are just trying to sell these Oreos on eBay for God knows how much money. Just Oreos. It's just anything with Pokemon on it now. It's so bad. Remember when there were people like stealing the uh, Pokemon things from Happy Meals? Yeah. So fucking pathetic. Fucking let kids get the cards from Target, all right? Or like, uh, Target doesn't even sell them anymore because it got that bad. Like, yeah, the kids have there, these too. memories with like Pokemon cards, and you know, it's like, you know, back in my day when I was a kid. That's a battle, by the way. That's fun. Um, you know, when I was a kid. I have fond memories of you know me and Logan getting together and like. Collect it, like go to card shop and collect some Pokemon cards and oh, trade some and then play the game. And nowadays, kids' memories on Pokemon cards is gonna be like fucking PTSD, Vietnam flashbacks. Be like, oh fucking god damn it, getting trampled by fucking middle aged neckbeards in the Walmart and they're trying to get over to their fucking shining fates. Holy shit. No, yeah, I remember oh, as a kid, we would go to this uh, Chinese restaurant, right? Yeah. And we'd always pop over to this card store that was right next to the Chinese restaurant, right? And it was great as a kid getting these, getting Pokemon cards every once in a while from there. I think some Yu-Gi-Oh cards too. I don't know if I can know, right? Yeah. People don't have those experiences anymore because Pokemon cards just don't exist in the wild. Yeah. No Pokemon cards. Key card. Don't I have a key card? This is uh, why. Ho -ho. That is a whole ho ho. Okay. And this is why Card Fight Vanguard is the better card game. Evan, you're not selling anyone on that. It's it you're was not such even a selling fun game. On that. I am selling myself on that because <laughs> that was such a fun game. Far end of Goldenrod Tunnel. Alright. That's what I was missing. It did not have the collection aspect of uh, Pokemon. Alright? I'll say that. Collecting all the different cards, or all the different units for Vanguard, not as enticing of, you know, gotta catch them all. It, it did not have the collection aspects that Pokemon had. But the game itself was so fun, and it had a banger anime going alongside it. The anime was unironically so good. Like, I I molded my deck and, like, copied the main character's deck as it evolved throughout the anime. Aichi Sendo, shoutouts to you. I still have that uh, Majesty Lord Blaster deck. Still got it. So good. That's great. We love that. And Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu -Oh, I, just, I just never got into Yu-Gi-Oh. No? You, you didn't get a uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon card? Blue Peeps and... Whitey Dragon? Nah. Yeah. I watched the Yu-Gi-Oh abridged. That's about my experience. That is with... pretty solid, though. It is very good. Super good abridged. Anyway. <laughs> I'm not sure how well it's aged. I haven't seen it in like 10 years, but. Probably not very well. Probably. So after we fight him, it's uh, Golden Rod Tunnel? Yeah. What about uh, Akogan? What? 
Oh, who's, where's that? Digimon? I Digimon have Bakugan. Have... Oh, Bakugan. Okay, I had Bakugans. Did I really understand oh how to play? No. No, not at all. No, no. I, I had no idea what I was doing. I mean, that's me with, like, all the card games, so... Yeah. Um, what else did I play? Uh, there was a Naruto card game, and Logan... Wait, yeah, Logan, like, really wanted me to play it, so I was like, yeah, okay, I'll build a deck. And I built a deck, and we played it, and it was not very good, as mm. you might expect <laughs> from a Naruto yeah. card game. But I still have that deck. Oh, fuck me. Is it Rival? Yeah, it's uh, Rival. Yep. Versus Mikey. This man wants his nicotine. Nah, this man wants to be loved. This man just wants out of the army. <laughs> yeah, that's probably more true. Um... What are the card games I play? Uh, Kaijudo. Kaijudo is actually pretty cool. I didn't I like it. I've heard of that one. Uh, have you ever heard of Duel Masters? Sure. Well, Duel, Duel Masters was like an older card game that they like, kind of stopped making. Yeah. And then they remade it with Kaijudo. Hmm. And it was basically like a more streamlined, like simpler like easier to understand version of kaijudo or of dual masters because kaijudo was kaijudo rise of dual masters it's kind of confusing but this is it a good game i liked it hmm. that's good at least yeah it was solid uh, uh yeah you got yeah, 11 Dow has 112 HP, though. It's gonna save. It's a 112. The 112 kept me safe. Uh. Oh, yeah. Same mistake you did. Yeah. Uh, it's fine. We're fine. You know, that is on me. I kind of forgot that Medicham was a uh, fighting type. It's on me. Anyways, uh, I know there was Where something other, else. Uh, hobbies went to die. Uh, buddy fights. Buddy fights was a card game that was made by the same people who made Vanguard. And Vanguard is my favorite. And me, Logan, and a bunch of my other friends from gotta stop almost doxing myself from uh <laughs> that that city where you know I used to live. Where I yeah. met Logan. All my yeah, friends from off. there. Uh, we were all like, yo, like, body fight game. Pretty sick. We went to the card shop. We got, everyone got a free, like, deck for uh, their new game. But they were pretty sick. That Vanguard company is pretty cool. They launch a new card game, and every person who goes to the card shop gets a free deck. It's pretty sweet. And the game itself was kind of sucked. Not gonna lie. Um, they did have a Shiba Inu Knight. Though, like just a Shiba in knight armor, so that was pretty sick. But the game itself wasn't fun. And everyone, like everyone else from that friend group, tried to convince me, like, no, dude, like it's really cool, like, it's a lot of fun. Come on, keep trying. I was like, I, I don't know about that. This, this game kind of sucks. And people trying to convince you to play D two. Yeah. Except where you're still playing D2, eventually they all like kind of fell out of buddy fight, and we all went back to Vanguard. So I was I was fucking right. Uh, Calculated. Ruru, like for you. Yeah, uh, I think that was all the card games that I have experience with. Yeah. Also, if you haven't noticed, I'm fighting for my life. Uh, I haven't noticed. I I have not been paying attention. I've been oh, focused you didn't see on me this get down fight. To one HP? <laughs> nope, I completely missed that. <laughs> uh, I've been focusing on this fight after nearly dying to uh to Metacham. I can understand that. 
I was just basically banking on no high roll with that, because I knew he was going to get really weak. Yeah. Oh, God. Dear God. Mother of God. Swampert's not going to take out another Pokemon? Not today. Bubblegum was more than enough <laughs> to satiate your hunger. No. Did he have Snorlax? God, I fight? love Snorlax. I have no clue. I was mostly just kind of asking myself, but out in the open. I didn't expect ah. you to know. God damn it, now I'm confused. I can just seed you. Come on, let's get it through. Yes. Well, that'll definitely help with this tank. Remember, Snorlax can hit you while he's asleep, too. So. Yeah. But I just wanted uh, Leech Seed, because Snorlax is a tank, and Leech Seed will make it easier. Move that flamethrower. Ooh. 95. Nice. Get it, Casual Jip. Rest. Fine, rest up, see if I Battle can. Battle of the starters. I wonder who will win. Also, don't look at Iprox's health. <laughs> Literally one uh, HP? It's not one. Oh, it's not one? It's 13. Oh, it's 13. That was done in one hit. Ah. Uh, so. Sleep talk. Snore. Critical hit, Snore. I'm not worried about that at all. Let's speed things up. No way. Way, Mikey. Get deaded. He got the deaded. What fucking understand? Is what the fucking dude says true? I don't treat Pokemon properly. I treat Pokemon properly, alright, don't I? Love trust. Big uh, stick to whack them with when they misbehave. Big stick. That's right. I don't need love or trust. I just need a big fucking stick, dude. And a big titty goth to love me. Amen. And we are going to move on to the next story. Because if uh, we continue with that... You know, this episode might get deleted. Oh no, we're gonna talk about it. All right, so 